Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to today's video. Oh, bugger, I've not plugged in one second because I'm useless and have completely forgotten I need to plug the light pad in to be able to use it. That would help when I want to turn it on if it was plugged in. So, there we go. And then now, there we have it, we can turn it on all better. So, today is another whip and chat. Like, should happen every week. However, I don't know if you guys have noticed that I didn't actually put up any videos last week. And for that, I can only apologise deeply. Um... For. <laughs> I can only apologise deeply for I actually let me just move myself so I'm in a comfortable position um, having said that though I can barely see so just bear with me a sec while I just manoeuvre things around but um, yeah I just you know what, I'll be quite honest, I was just not feeling it last week. Um, I did actually record the whipping chat and then I just, I just really couldn't be bothered to sit and edit it um, at the weekend and to edit my other videos as well. I just, I was not feeling it whatsoever. And sometimes I think that we just need that little break from things otherwise. Like if I'd have forced myself, that's where it starts to not get fun, you know. And it starts to become like a chore rather than a hobby, which it completely is for me. It's a hobby making these videos. So I had to give myself a little bit of a break. I was also very busy that day anyway because I was trying to get a draft assignment sent in submitted so I was trying to sort that out and I just was like I had to go to the shop I had to get my bits and pieces like my fruit and whatnot and I just needed that I needed to not have to edit that day and put stuff on YouTube and to be honest today like I am, I am cutting it a bit fine and dry, I was, this is in my way, I'm going to have to edit this camera a bit again, I'll literally keep hitting it with my pen. Let's pull it back, let's lift it up a little bit and then I'll zoom in, that's probably better, let's have a look, because I'm hitting it with my pen, there we go, so you're in the same position but it's just not, it's further than a pen distance away from me, so it's fine. But anyway, um, yeah, so, what's I saying? Like, today, I am, I'm filming this at, like, five o'clock, is it? What time is it, James? Is it about five o'clock? He's not listening to me, he's got his, James! Is it, like, five o'clock? What time yeah. is it? What time is it? Five. Five? Oh, brill. See, I was, I was right. So it is like five o'clock um, in the evening, which is a lot later than I probably would usually film because I do now have to try my hardest to get it edited, you know, speedily. Because it is Sunday as well today. I should say that. And so it is going to be a bit much, but I'm happy to do it today. I feel in the mood. I feel okay for it. Whereas I just did it last week. Um. So I will. I will come off of this like later, and I will get it edited and put up and everything. So and get every other video done this week. So you should have a full 
week of videos and by a full week I mean my usual schedule which is Monday, Wednesday, Saturday. So I do apologise. Um, I know a few of you were worried about me and sorry for that. I am okay. I just needed the time to myself. I needed the time to not have to do a video. So yeah, today I have been out um, to buy house stuff. Um, but yeah, we will. In fact, I'll, I'll go like I usually do. I'll try to tell you about my week or the last two weeks in order. So first of all, I've still not got my contact lenses. I was meant to be going last Saturday. Um, to get my contact lenses done and I wake up Saturday morning to a phone call saying that the contact lens optician has not come in today because she's got some sort of family emergency or whatever so can you phone back and reschedule so I believe the new date for that is like next week I want to say I actually don't think I've written it down anywhere let me have a look just realised now that I don't actually know where I've put this down I might have put it in my calendar Oh, so I'm not even next weekend, it's the weekend after. So it was the second that I got told they couldn't do it anymore and I have had to wait three weeks from then. So all in all, it's been well over a month and I'm still waiting on them, which is irritating. But what can you do? So that was Saturday morning last week and then... Saturday afternoon we were at and that's when I filmed that's when I recorded the video and I think this is why it screwed me up last week because I was recording Saturday um, and I was trying to get it done before I went to um, James's sister's baby well not baby shower gender reveal party because they went Saturday to find out the gender of the baby and then they wanted to do a reveal with all the family members in the afternoon and they told us at first it was like I want to say she said like half past one or one o'clock no it might have been like one o'clock first and then she got in touch midweek and said okay actually no um make it like half two or two o'clock or something like that because we'll be a bit tight for time getting back from the ultrasound scan so that's what I assumed so I did the video um, and I thought okay I've got a bit of time I'll edit while I get ready and stuff and then while I was actually doing the video um, James's brother-in-law phones up and says can you actually get here for like one o'clock um, which was the original time so I then had to like finish doing the video and get straight up and get ready to go so then it ended up being where I didn't record I, I didn't edit on the Saturday and then when Sunday came round and I was busy with um my draft trying to get my draft submitted I just didn't I didn't edit I didn't do it then and during the week I've just not felt like it like that's why I don't want to leave stuff to the week if I leave it till during the week it's not going to get done because I just get too tired 
like last week as well, Monday, Tuesday, I was at my new school that I'm working at, or my first placement is at, should I say. I don't think it's technically classed as working because they're not, I'm like not on the payroll for them, but they're my placement school, so I still have to teach there to get fully qualified. Um, but yeah, so I was there on Monday and Tuesday. I really like it. It's a really nice school. The people seem, like the teachers seem lovely. I think that, I mean, I'm only there October, November. Well, actually, I have next week, so not this week, but next week, half next week's half term. But then I have October... November and then December and then a little bit in January after Christmas. It's about three months that I'm there in total. But I think it'll be... It'll go swimmingly because it seems a really nice department, like really nice teachers that I'm working with. So that all went well. But I just then came home every night and chatted. Um, so never got a video out. So I will really, I'll sit down tonight and I'll do it. I was meant to be doing, you know, some bits and bobs for uni, but I'll get them done during the week. It'll be fine. Um, let me think. I'm trying to think of other things that happened. Oh, yeah. We were on about the baby shower, weren't we? <laughs> I just literally go around the houses. Now the baby shower, I keep calling it a baby shower because the gender reveal just sounds a bit weird to me. But um, So we went to the gender reveal party and we found out that we are having, oh I'm not, <laughs> we are having, like I'm the one, no, James's sister and brother-in-law are having, so we are getting a uh, niece, a little baby girl, it's a baby girl, so that's lovely and his sister was messaging me like saying that she's bought all these clothes and because it's so lovely I think for women as well to have to have a little girl that there's some very very cute little girl outfits out there I have to say um, there's some really beautiful ones and I think any woman just I mean it's, it goes back from when we were like all little and we used to have little baby girl dolls like baby Annabelle's and stuff you know it's just so nice for us to dress a little girl up so she's chuffed we're thrilled because we've got a nephew and then now we've got a niece and it's just so nice and yeah I also didn't go to Swimming World last week because I was fed up and couldn't be bothered. I just had one of them weeks so I just didn't want to do anything. Thursday I went to my best friend's daughter's first birthday party. Um, after, after I finished uni. So I missed some Zumba as well, but to be honest, I think even if that went on, I wouldn't have gone. I just, I'm not going to have a chance to go this week either, because, or I? Oh no, I missed Zumba the weekend, I missed Zumba, not last weekend, the weekend before as well. So I missed it then, I knew I would be missing two weeks of it. What did I do that week? Oh, that's when we went to go get um, James a birthday present. So, not this last Thursday, but the Thursday before. We went to Meadow Ward to get James. I'm sure it was that Thursday. Yeah, it must have been. To get him, he got a ring for his birthday. So, we did that then. And then, it's so hard to think back. And then this week, it was, um, 
Ellie's daughter's birthday. So I've missed Zumba two weeks in a row. And then Slimming World, I went to it the week before. But I didn't go to it this week. And I'm not going to get a chance to go to it this coming week. Because we are going out for James's sister's 30th birthday. So a lot of things. We have a lot of birthdays in uh, October and November. And then we also have a lot of birthdays when it's like around mine, which is in like March time. So they often all come at once. But then it just means that, you know, things in one big go get have to be like rearranged or missed or whatever because we've got to try to fit in meals out and seeing them and stuff like that so it can be a bit hectic but like I said anyway last week I just didn't feel up to doing things so if if I had if I hadn't have had anything on like Tuesday or Thursday I still wouldn't have gone to like Zumba or um, to Zumba or at Slimming World because I just yeah you've got to do it sometimes for your own health just say no you know what I could just do with a day of or a week or a couple of weeks or a month of just chilling and just being less have to do stuff less like I need to go here I need to fill up all my evenings with something it's the fact I guess that it's Mondays I do this Tuesdays I do this Wednesdays I do this Thursdays I do this so you don't actually have time to just feel like doing something like if I was like oh I just feel like going to the shop I can't do that um, and I don't know I guess sometimes even if it's just oh I just feel like sitting down and diamond painting I barely have the chance to like I'm still on the second row of this and I've done a couple I don't know I've done a couple of squares of my doggies my doggy painting because that's what I did last week on the whipping chart that nobody ever saw <laughs> I didn't edit it and I could have put it up like this week but then you know I'm a week behind and it makes no sense because I don't know where I am and what I've told you and what I haven't and stuff like that so just makes more sense for me to just say scrap that it just didn't get aired and to just start afresh this week so that's what I've done but yeah so we did that. We also got this week through our draft contracts for the house. So that's really good. So we signed them. We got them sent off. That was towards the back end of the week. So I had to read through stuff. We've got the mortgage sorted. So mortgage is sorted. Draft contracts have been done. So I think the next thing is literally we send that back, they do whatever needs to be done as well and then we can get the exchange of contracts sorted and then we are kind of getting on our way. So we have decided between myself and James that we do need to start thinking about getting bits and pieces here and there ready for moving in because... Like obviously I'm not talking about the big items here, I'm not talking about the sofa and the bed and the telly and you know things that cost a lot of money um, on their own. What I'm talking about is stuff like cutlery, um, plates and bowls and towels and tea towels and um, pots and pans and do you know all that type of thing you know. The, the small things, especially for like the kitchen, like utensils and like your cutlery and stuff, which you need. I need to be able to um, make dinner and everything like that. So, and I just said to James that all that sort of stuff 
can seem very expensive to just go out in one go and buy it um especially when then you are moving in like let's say that week or whatever and you also need to get your sofa and you need to get your kettle and your toaster and your hoover and all that so i said yesterday i said why don't we just go out to um to to have a look and see if we find anything like cutlery wise or pots and pans or whatever so we did we went to a few shops um i can't remember every shop we also went around what did we go looking for now Oh, I tell you what it was. So at first we were just going to go to Dunnell Mills, which sells like bedding and you know cutlery and things like that. So and pots and pans and all that. So we were just going to go there, but we went by um, James's mum and dad's first and sat down, and we were talking to them. And I was talking to James's mum about she asked about like beds and stuff um and i said well cause she's gonna buy it i think um so i was showing her like the beds and i was saying no oh, but from this site as well we want a dining room furniture and a buffet or a footstool but it's actually but it's kind of like this like footstool coffee table thing so it's like a really large footstool that people put like a tray on it and then use it as a coffee table as well so that's what we want so i said these are all from the same place and then we were looking at dining tables and things and the dining table that i wanted is just going to be too big i didn't realize because the other ones they make in all different sizes like they make them from 1.4 meters up to two meters Whereas the one that we actually really liked I started at 1.8 metres, which is quite big. It is really large. And it won't fit in because our house is going to have like a kitchen diner. So it won't fit there. And it was really annoying actually because we were trying to make it work. We had the tape measure out. And we are like looking like will it work and whatnot. But we also thought we've not ever really seen these like tables, these type of tables, up close and personal. Let me just pause this and sorry, I just needed to save the back the the camera memory card. So we'd not seen these like up close and personal these tables before. So we did have a think like while we were driving around, like is there anywhere we think we might be able to go to see them because this. The place that I'm getting them online does have a showroom, but it's all the way down in London, so not around us at all. So we had a thought, and we did actually find a place that sold these dining room tables and stuff. And we had a look, and yeah, the one that we want is huge. It's not going to fit at all. It's lovely, but it's not going to fit. However, the woman did show us some other options that we could also get on the website online um, that we were looking at and for cheaper, like £100 cheaper, but she showed us them that we also really like. So I think we're going to go for one of, of them options instead and get it on the website with a bed like we originally planned. Which was good. And then we went to Don Elm. So we eventually went to Don Elm Mills. And we didn't find any like plates and bowls. Like. Any dinner sets. But what we did find. Was some knives and forks. So we went for these. This make called Viners. Uh, I can't remember the, the ones. I don't know if it was select they have different names like the different sets and the idea is you could always go and if you needed more let's say you've accidentally thrown a knife in the bin I don't know why I thought of that but let's say something happened to one of them you could just go and just search for that 
name of the set and just find the knives and buy the knife a knife on its own so that's what I like about them so we we bought them they also have like either a 25 or like 50 year guarantee or something ridiculous because they're proper like stainless steel so that's good so we got them so that's what we did yesterday we were out basically all day Hence why I didn't film on Saturday. And then Sunday, so today, we actually went to look and we decided we were going to get it. Um, we wanted to get our, our vacuum cleaner, our Hoover. And we were going to get a Dyson. But we literally went into the shop and they were like we don't have any in stock you'll have to order them online it's like great brilliant so we then looked at we thought oh well let's look at you know kettle and toaster let's see if we can get any of that so i went upstairs went to look for the kettle and toaster that we liked didn't have it in stock but they don't even have it in stock online i was like Brill. Well, let's have a look for a microwave then. Went to look for the microwaves. There was like, hardly any choice. Nothing in stock. Fantastic. Really, really glad that we came away with absolutely nothing. <laughs> and then we also had to go and get some dog biscuits. So essentially, we went out for you know we thought we were going to come back with like maybe a, a hoover um a kettle of toaster and a microwave we came back with some dog biscuits and then we're in the shop and i was like oh do you know what i really fancy some shortbread because around this time they start to get in the shortbread sets you know for christmas so i said to james oh i really like fancy some shortbread he's like oh why don't we go to Costco where they do that like really nice um chocolate chunk shortbread I was like oh yeah and we also knew that we wanted to buy our bath towels from Costco because they do really nice soft bath towels so I said okay well we could at least get them too and then we don't come back empty handed from a full day out so we went in we got them and then I also saw this like really soft throw. Oh my god, it's amazing. It was, I mean, it was like £35 for this like super soft white like throw that we're going to have in like the living room. Oh my goodness. It is, I can't even explain to you how silky smooth this throw is. It looks amazing. Um... And I just, I can't wait to like get home from work on an evening, on a cold winter's evening, kick off my shoes, go get in my pyjamas and sit on the settee wrapped in this super fluffy throw. Literally that just makes me so happy thinking about it. James said it to me actually, he said, you know what, I'm going to come home from work every evening to find you just like basically asleep on the sofa in this like fluffy throat. I'm like, um, yeah, you are. It looks so nice. So that's going to happen. And then. So we got that. And then we also walked around. And I got a laundry basket of all things. But it's like a collapsible one. Which I thought was so cool. I'm like, yes, we need that because then I can just like put it away in the cupboard and it doesn't take up any space. And it was a tenner, so I bought one of them. And then we also got our plates and bowls from there because we saw some. They were they were Gordon Ramsay uh, and Royal. Dalton I think it's called and honestly this has made my day 
because we ended up without even realising it wasn't intentional got such a bargain so I've not heard of Royal Dalton I'm not going to lie to you I'm not up on all this pottery sort of thing I don't know the only thing I know that's a good make is like Denby uh, and they're expensive like Denby um, plates and mugs and bowls and stuff but I said to James I said well these are really nice and they you know with it being like Gordon Ramsay and stuff he wouldn't put his name to crap because well most people know what he's like I said so even though we don't actually know what this brand is I can't I can't imagine it being a crap brand and I said so I like these let's buy them and I think with that they came to about £35 for a set and we got two sets anyway I, I get home and I, we walk through the door with them so I could go and check that so I wanted to check because they were in a box that there were none that were smashed or anything because we'd need to take them back if they were and my mum goes oh my goodness she's like you've been and bought Royal Dalton um, like tableware and I said yeah she's like you do realise that they're like like quite you know posh <laughs> and I was like no I don't have a clue who they were I just I picked them because I like them and I said that the are the, the only things that they had in like Costco and I just thought they were really nice and she says well yeah these are like a, a very expensive make how much did you pay for them and I said well like 35 pounds for the set and she's like that's really really good because they're usually expensive so anyway James goes looking online because he saw on the side of the box that they also do mugs so he was like oh we could get matching mugs so he went looking found out for a mug there were nine pound a mug and I was like I'm not getting any of them um, but then he finds the set and that set that we paid £35 for in Costco online it was £95 so we'd saved like £60 a set and we bought two so we've saved ourselves 120 quid. I was like oh my goodness so I'm like there you know with this swanky like dinnerware set for like less than half of the price of what it should be I was chuffed I'm really happy super happy so I know I don't really sound it but genuinely I was gobsmacked and I thought oh -hoo! and I just kept on telling everybody I was like dad do you know how much these are like I'm gonna do it later as well we're going they're going in James' garage so after dinner we're going to go and take them to his house and you can guarantee I will be there to his mum and dad showing off my new swanky um, uh, dinnerware and cutlery because they haven't seen the cutlery either but they did actually, they were the ones that told us like the viners are a good brand of cutlery so they probably will be like oh yes we told you that but the fact was that me and James went picked up this cutlery just because we thought yeah, it should be alright we've not heard of the brand but it seems like it should be okay and to come back and it should be actually a very expensive brand that we got for, for quite cheap so I'm very happy although maybe maybe I will splurge on the mug oh no right my camera is about to die so let me just quickly um just say just say my goodbyes and i think that we'll have to leave it there for today so thank you so much for liking subscribing commenting and of course watching and until next time see you in the next one